Ian, firstly, congratulations. I mean, is that the dream start to life in League One? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, Result-wise, fantastic. I thought performance all round was, was really, really good. So, um, extremely happy with the players today and, and nice to get off on, on that start. We knew it would be a really tough game and it was. And it, it wasn't the, the brightest of starts, but once your side got going, I mean, they looked almost unstoppable at times. Yeah, I mean, credit to Bristol Rovers. We, we knew that it would be like that first 20 minutes here. The atmosphere was bouncing, you know, um, opening game of the season, newly promoted. And we, we knew we'd maybe have to, to take on that first 20, 25 minutes and just be really, really resilient, which we were. We didn't, they gained a lot of territory and they probably had the upper hand in that first 20, 25. But um, we were, yeah, we, we stood our ground. We didn't create, uh, concede too many big chances. And then we, we bedded ourselves into the game. And once we got a foothold in the game, I thought we played some great stuff. And if you look at the number of saves that Luke McGee had to make compared to James Belshaw between the Rovers sticks, I mean, the, the numbers will speak for themselves. Yeah, I think so. I thought uh, Belshaw for them was, was fantastic, pulled some great saves off. Um, and um, that was credit to the chances that we created. Luke had one good save in the first half, but yeah, not, not too many big, big chances that we conceded. So I think we, we, we were very good without the ball and with the ball, we created some good stuff. And I was, I was particularly impressed, especially in the first half, the way sort of chances almost came out of nowhere it was just one one quick pass and is, is that something that you're able to work on or does that also rely on just making sure the players are in the right position uh, no i want to tell you that we're working on it so um no we, we we work a lot on patterns of play and and having the players in the right position so but they have to execute the pass and like reese brown's chance the the pass from jordy is just unbelievable and and yeah i, I think we, we score a goal in the second half as well that looks onside it was a great pattern as well so uh, yeah, we, we executed some good uh, patterns of play, without doubt. And after that that moment that Corey O'Keefe looked to have doubled the lead, it wasn't long before the former Forest Green man, Aaron Collins, levelled the score. Yeah. That must have felt like a real kick in the teeth, especially after what, what you now know about that goal at the other end. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't sure at the time, but looking at it back, it, it kind of looks on side. So, um, but listen, they, 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 they get the goal and you heard the crowd and, and it's very easy at that point to give up the momentum of the game and for us just to sit back and hold on and, and uh, accept the draw. But we didn't do that. I thought we still created chances. We, we, we were still positive um, and it was quite open game. I think people watching the game would say it was a good game of football and uh, just pleased that we got that second goal. And how important was it that, that your side killed that momentum as, as quickly as it could have come around? Yeah, we, we did a great job. We managed the game well and we, we were just brave. You know, you see like Regan Endry, Ben Stevenson in midfield in there, just put a foot on the ball and calmed everything down and took the momentum back in our way. And I think that was so important and and uh, great second goal. You know, Regan deserves that because I thought his performance was brilliant. And uh, as you say, Regan, yeah, he, he bossed it throughout the afternoon, but with a matter of minutes left on the clock, it was a touch of absolute magic, wasn't it, to win it? Now, I'm, I don't know if he told you right, but I told him to shoot more. I said, you've got to shoot more because uh, the, the way he finishes in training is outstanding. So uh, it's good that he's listening. But it was, uh, like you say, a moment of magic. I, I wouldn't have seen him finishing from there, but it, without doubt, it was a great finish. And when you look back at the, the list of goals he has in a Forest Green shirt, each and every one has been spectacular in its own way. It, some player, isn't he? Yeah, great player, great player, great mentality, trains well every day. So, listen, all of the players, I couldn't pick anyone that didn't do the job. Even coming on at the end, Don Bernard, last five minutes, just uh, was smart with his actions, blocking and making sure we got what we needed. So, everybody contributed in a positive way, and I think that's great. Uh, Armani Little didn't feature. He initially appeared on the bench on the team sheet, but then wasn't featured. What's the, what's the story there? Just, uh, do you know what? He blocked a shot in training and um, uh, felt his ankle, so... We, we tested him before the game, but it certainly wasn't worth the risk. He, he's not ready, but I don't think it's anything major. He should be maybe ready for uh, Ipswich. If not that, then the following week.